Jesus once told a story about a man, and this man had a very big farm with many servants who looked after his farm. The man also had two sons. One day, the man's younger son came to his father and said this, Father, I know that when you die, my brother and I will inherit things that belong to you, money, land, while well, I want my part of the inheritance now. I don't want to wait. Whatever I would get when you die, I want you to give it to me now. This was an incredibly heartless thing for the son to ask. He was effectively saying to his father that he wouldn't have minded if he died. It was a terrible thing for him to say. All he cared about was his part, his share of the inheritance. This made the father incredibly sad, but he agreed. He agreed to give his younger son his share of the inheritance. The younger son left his father, left his home and went to a faraway country. He completely turned his back on his family. And when he got to the faraway country, he wasted all of the inheritance, all of his money on parties, on things, on possessions, on experiences. He threw everything that he had had from his father away. But you see, after the son had spent everything, the new friends that he had made left him. He wasn't so cool anymore. He didn't have anything left. He didn't have any money. He didn't have anything that his father had given him. And all of the people that he had met turned their backs on him. And then, just as things were starting to go wrong for the younger son, things got even worse. Because there was a famine in the land. Food ran out. There was nothing left to eat. All of a sudden, the son was in a faraway country with no money, no food, no friends and no way to go. He was forced to look for a job. He needed to make money. But the only job he could find was looking after pigs and feeding pigs. He spent many days and many nights feeling very lonely and very hungry. He was so miserable and so hungry that he began to want the food that the pigs were eating. He was beginning to starve and he would eat anything. At that moment, when he wanted the pig's food to fill his stomach, the younger son realised how foolish and silly he had been. He thought, all of my, my father's servants have food and here I am starving. I can go home and I can turn back to my father and I can say, Father, I know I've been wrong. I know I've done wrong against you. I know I've sinned. I'm not good enough to be your son anymore. Please let me just be one of your servants and at least that way I'll have some food. So that's what he did. He set off on the long journey home, back towards his father. He knew that he didn't deserve to be like his father's son anymore. He knew that possibly the best he could hope for was to be a servant. But you see, all of the years that the son had been away, his father had missed him. His father had looked out, always hoping that he would return. Then one day, when he looked out from his house, he could see in the distance someone approaching. It was his son, a long way off, coming down the road. The father left the house, ran down the path and threw his arms around his son. My son, he said, you have come home again. He was so overjoyed that he was crying with happiness. The son was so surprised he never expected such a welcome. He said, Father, I have sinned against you. I have done wrong against you. I am not good enough to be your son anymore. But his father wiped away the tears from his son's eyes and he said, My son, I forgive you because you are my son and I love you so much. 
I forgive you. The father called all of his servants together and said, Quick, bring me the best clothes, sandals and things for my son. Get a ring for his finger and let's have a feast. Let's celebrate because my son who was away has returned. My son, it was like he was dead to me, but now he is back and he is alive. My son was lost, but now he is found. Sometime later, the older son returned to the farm. He had been working hard in the fields. All of the time that the younger son had been away, wasting the things that his father had given him, the older son had been working hard. He could hear the sounds of partying and celebration in the distance. A servant told him, your father is celebrating because your younger brother has returned home safe. But you see, the older brother was annoyed that his younger brother was getting such a loving welcome. He doesn't deserve a welcome like this, the older brother thought, and he sulked outside until his father came to see him. I have been working for many, many years, and you have never had a celebration feast for me. But now my younger brother, who has behaved awfully, has returned home, and when he returns, you celebrate, the older brother said. But his father explained. He said, you have always been with me and everything I have is yours. But we are celebrating because your brother was dead to, dead to us and now he's alive. He was lost, but now he is found. And that is something that is worth celebrating. Now, you see, in this story, the father represents God. And that silly, foolish younger son represents us. We have done to God what this younger son did to his father. We have turned away from God in our acts, in our mindset, in our thoughts, our words and our deeds. We have turned away from God. We have left him. It's like we have gone away to a faraway country and we have rebelled against him. We need to turn back to God. Just like this son realised that he needed to turn back to his father, we need to turn back to God. We need to realise that we are guilty. We need to admit that we have made mistakes, that we have got things very, very wrong, and we need to turn back to God. You see, for all of the mistakes that this son made, and all of the foolish decisions, and all of the terrible things that he did, he realised that he had made mistakes. He realised that he had got it awfully wrong. And you see, when he returned to his father, he told his father, I know I don't deserve to be your son anymore. And that's what we need to do. We need to turn back to God and we need to tell him that we understand we don't deserve his love. We don't deserve his love. Just like this younger son didn't deserve his father's love anymore. We don't deserve God's love. But if we admit our guilt, just like this younger son admitted his guilt, if we realise how wrong we have been, just like this younger son realised how wrong he had been, then just like the father forgave him, God will forgive us. Just like the father restored him to the status that he had, his father didn't treat him like a servant, his father treated him like a son again. And if we admit our guilt and turn back to God, then God will treat us as one of his own, as one of his family. He is willing to forgive us. Isn't that wonderful? The question is, have we realised that we're guilty? Have we realised that we've got things wrong? And have we turned away from our sin, turned back to God and asked him for forgiveness? Because if we do, this story tells us and God promises us that he will forgive us.